object. The next object we have here is a teapot. This is a kind of fancy looking teapot. Don't get distracted by the details. Just look at the shapes. Take a moment, look at the shapes. See if you can identify with those simple shapes. Take a moment. Okay, let's break down the object together. When we look at the object once again, let's start from the body, the biggest shapes of the, uh, of the object. When we look at the body, instead of curve, I'm trying to use a trapezoid for the big body. the largest part of the shape and go to the top what do we see? another trapezoid isn't it? this has been a really simple exercise it is meant to show you how to see things. Now let's move up to the top. What do we see? Another trapezoid, isn't it? Easy enough. It's, it's getting easier e and easier for you to see the objects now, which is great. Let's go for the bottom. What do we see at the bottom? The bottom, we also have another trapezoid. Just like that. Let me clean up a little. What about on the spiral area? The spiral area, I'm going to use a triangle instead of complex shapes. I'm just going to use a triangle. That's it. As simple as that. Triangle. Now for the handle, what do we see on the handle? The handle actually is an oval shape. More over to the side, okay, more over to the side a little bit. But this is how the shape composed. Let's clean up a little so you can see a little bit better. Draw through. Always draw through at the beginning. That will give you a better idea without hesitation to think through the object. It looks fancy at the beginning, but when you break down the object into simple shapes, actually is quite easy. Now look at the next object. Flowers with the vase, with a glass vase. What do you see? Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment to identify these objects once again. Got it? This one actually the easiest one. It's not as complex as the other one, but 
because of the flower it has a lot of petals. At the beginning, people might get confused. How am I going to draw each petal? Well, just like other objects, simplifying the shapes. We don't see details. Train yourself to see simple shapes at the beginning. Now look at the flowers, all the combination of flowers, what do we see? An oval shape, isn't it? That's it. That's indicating all the flowers at the front. Now there's another smaller, smaller one is another circle. And the vase, another circle, isn't it? But it's flattened at the bottom. Later on when we do uh, more refining, all you have to do is cut off the bottom. Just like that. Now on the leaves, the leaves also creating a curve right here. I can either use a triangle or use I can use another circle right here. Do you see that? And the stem, which is inside, which is, that's for the detail. I'm not going to use any uh, extra effort to put in inside. For the water, the water can actually, could, could be uh, as a trapezoid. So these are the basic shapes for this object right here. Simple, really simple. Try to see things as simple as you can for this stage. I would like you to go around the household finding yourself 10 objects, just random objects as from simple to complex. Try to find out what kind of combination of simple shapes to create the objects in front of you. Any objects, as I said, any objects from simple to complex. Test yourself to see if you can identify all those simple shapes square, circle, triangle, and the trapezoid. And then we go for the next stage. Welcome back to the stage two of this exercise. Earlier we were using the really simple shapes, square, circle, triangle, and trapezoid. The next stage, we are looking for something more dimensional. Now first thing first, let's talk about the shapes we are going to use for this exercise right here. We are going to use cylinder, circle, Cone and cube. So these are the dimensional objects the shapes. Now, these are the dimensional objects we want to use for identifying the shapes. Now let's look at this really simple object. The glass cup, the drinking glass, the wine glass. We are going to start from simple once again. What do we see? Earlier, with the exercise, we might use a rectangle or a trapezoid and then next at the bottom going down will be a triangle a rectangle and also at the bottom we can use a triangle once again but now we are moving forward to use a little bit more complex idea to compose this object once again we are not going to look for the precise measurement of this object. 
we are looking for shapes that's what we would like to see shapes I can use more likely a rectangle shapes let's draw a little bit lightly this time at the bottom I'm just going to try to draw lightly now this shape right here it looks like a trapezoid right here but it is an idea of the cone shape if you use a little bit slanted angle if you use a straight angle that would be the cylinder shape now the cylinder shape as we talking about the ellipses before this would be somewhat the small opening right here really small really really small opening larger opening the perspective of the ellipses what we were talking about before review with the uh, review with the exercise we had before now coming down you can see there's a triangle but that's a cone actually reverse cone upside down cone since we already have the oval shape we don't need to create another one at the handle area that is a cylinder the cylinder open it up and at the bottom we can see more like a triangle shape but now we replace the triangle with the cone at the body at the bottom there's another oval shape ellipse opening this ellipse right here opening actually is a really really thin cylinder so we have to do two layers we have to do we have to do the top and bottom of the cylinder so there's a thickness to it once again there's nothing to it we are not going to look for any precise measurement as I said earlier just getting an idea uh, right now there's no restriction about the measurement at this stage just try to break down the identifying the shapes that's what we are aiming for the next object we have a tea mug when we look at this tea mug you can quickly identify what kind of shapes we see already you don't really need to take that much time to look at this object already all right let's go for it the big shapes the biggest shapes I can see right now is a rectangle if we're going to use the idea earlier what we have it's still healthy to think this way all right I'm just drawing it a little more kind of a lighter so I can adjust my idea more now on the top there's an ellipse the rectangle become a cylinder I'm just gonna make the bottom come down a little bit more and cut in there is a cone shape at the bottom a lot of times we don't see the bottom but we know there's a there's a shape and when there's a shape cut in the corner when there's shape cut into an angle from a cylinder that usually become a cone at the bottom there's ellipse too even though we do not see, even though we do not see the bottom is it's good for us to draw the idea get into the habit draw things more precisely so there will be an ellipse right here too and there's a cut in with another cone shape if we extend it, it would be come down this way but here's the cutoff right here so here will be the shapes for the cone now there's another shape come down this way and also another cone 
So that's how the curve come in. Later on, the curve come in like this. Indication right here, when there's indication like this, that means there's more than one shape. And also, once again, when, when there's an angle cut in on the cylinder, that will become a cone shape. So this is the t mud on the body. On the handle, we talked about before, we can use a triangle, come in just like that. But now, the next thing we have to do is use more of a circle to break it down. Combination with a circle and also with the triangle. So the shape of the circle connect with the triangle. Voila! We need to have just finished the ear. And if we want to do that little bit indication right here, just edit on later. But that's not important. The more important part, which is learn to see and knowing what you see. By combining all the information that we just talked about in the previous exercise and today's exercise, you can see how much progression you, ha you have already made. The next object we see is a beautiful design wine bottle. Look at this wine bottle. There's a lot of curve to it. But we already know how to see this object, so it wouldn't be too difficult for you to identify what kind of shapes we see at this stage. Now let's break down the object like the others. At the beginning, looks, let's look at the biggest area. What do we have? An oval, isn't it? There we go, an oval shape. And then, let's go up. What do we have? A cone shape, isn't it? Just like that, a cone shape. Laying on top of the oval, of this, of this oval shape. The next thing we're looking at is the, the body, the handle area. What we have? A cylinder, correct. We can draw a cylinder right here and another cylinder right here. The next thing we have, which is a, correct. That's correct. And another cone shape, just like that. Now let's go up to the cap area. What do we have when we look at the cap area? It's another cylinder. Really, really small cylinder. Let's erase this part a little for you to see, not to get confused. And when we look at the top again, there's another cone shape actually. Another cone shape. Now when we look at the cone shape on top, what do we have? It's an oval. Entire oval just stop at the cone area. That's what it, that's what it is. It's an oval but directly cut in. That's how the shapes create. See there's oval shape right here. There's a cone shape right here. All I have to do is just cut off here and clean it up. See? Simple. Really simple. There's nothing to it. Now at the bottom we clearly we can identify that is a what? Cylinder. Correct. You are doing well. Great. And don't forget to do the ellipse at the bottom. There we go. 
there's no hard edge on the ellipse that's an idea uh, we're not going to care about any details at all at the middle area unless we are going to do some refined join maybe in the future that this would be one of object to be uh, drawn as a demo otherwise we're not going to look for any specific details no details just look for with really simple dimensional geometric shapes now the next object is a beautiful design object as well let's take a moment to look at this object right here what do we have there's a lot of delicate beautiful design on this object right here let's break it down this object like the other ones we have done from the body what do we have oval isn't it an oval shape there we go that's the body a little bit choppy as I said we're not looking for perfect drawing at this stage just look for ideas now let's go to the top what do we see I see a cone shape isn't it and then I can see another oval shape right here actually there is a small really really small kind of a cone shape right here once again really small cone shape really small cone shape right here it go up to the top but it's really small Let's clean things up once again. Actually, let's break the top part even more. Instead of a, a oval shape, I'm going to break down into two cone shapes. So let's break down even more precise. Cone shape here, cone shape here, and now the cone shape right here. Now this is a small cylinder on the top once again cone another cone there's other cone shapes now look at the bottom for the legs in this area what do we see do you remember do you remember the other ones we have done before with the legs that's correct. We are no longer just seeing the legs as individual. Because all the legs, when you're turning, seeing the bottom, actually those legs forming a circle as well. So, now finding the direction of the legs, just like that, actually it will become a cone shape. And all the legs will combine, creating a cone shape like that. Later on, all we have to do is just finding the, the placement of it. Just like that. It would be really easy idea and easy way to compose it. And also you can find out the, the leg in the back too. So, see, the cone actually helping you to identify what's in the back right here. Give you a precise placement of the other legs instead of okay I draw one leg here draw one leg right there that's much harder actually now for the ears the handle oh I see is a you can use a triangle but I rather use a trapezoid much easier at this stage And later on, of course, we're going to use circle. This area, which is flat, we don't really need to talk about too much of the uh, 
dimensional shapes on it but it's good to know the body, how to compose and then later on if I have more time then I'll refine the object just like that get a bit more fancy looking more fancy looking I'm not really drawing this completely but just give you the idea how it might be able to transform the object into more realistic details at this stage we still are not looking for the precise measurement of it so this is an idea okay uh, so this is an idea for you to see how it will turn out when we have more time to identify more actually here if I want to go for it even more further there are two cones actually so more and more precise I'm just going to develop one side for you to see a little bit more and pretty much this is the idea what you need to do for this exercise once again look for more objects as many objects as you can to practice anything that you see anything that you can find look for them and try it out in flat shapes with dimensional shapes have fun with it